out when I saw uh, Dustin uh, start going for the leg kicks, I go, oh my God, Connor's stance is not made for checking properly uh, leg kicks like that, especially cap kicks. So I thought that was going to be a major problem. And then when he hit Dustin with a good shot and Dustin took it, that's when I kind of knew, oh boy, things are going to change. And sure enough, they did. And uh, it was a great game plan from Dustin to, to work the leg kicks, leg, leg calf kicks, you know. And it was a bad judgment on Connor's part to not be prepared for that. I don't understand how you cannot be prepared for something like that when that's what everybody's going to. I mean, Habib, you know, I told him, I remind him every day that Justin's coming after your legs. Justin's coming after your legs every day. I was telling him that, you know, and you would think that you would be reminded also because, I mean, that's a big weapon until fighters learn how to deal with it. It's going to be a big weapon, guys. Big mm. weapon. He would have got smashed. Habib's gotten better. He would have got smashed. He would have got smashed straight up. Habib's better. He's better than he was when they fought two years ago. Connor didn't appear to be better. He has regressed a little bit. Habib's gotten way better. He would have got smashed. What I have seen is that he does seem to be leaning on the boxing a lot. You know, there's certainly there was less kicks in that fight, and there's been less kicks in some of his recent fights. Uh, and of course, mixed martial arts, you got to throw everything. You know, and listen, those kicks they did a fucking great job. The wrestling did a great job. The pressure, the ability for Dustin Poirier to take his best shot. You know, that is gonna. You know, if you're Connor, and I'm not talking about him specifically, but if you're the fighter in question, if you're the guy that everybody sees as having that gigantic power and you can put people to sleep and you build a career on it and you hit people and they crumble, right? If you, that's what you believe and that's the general consensus, that's the popular belief. If you go out there and you crack someone with your best shot and they stand there and they take it and they're firing back, that's going to fuck with you a little bit. It is. And I do believe that that affected Connor's confidence a little bit. Some fighters are great when they're the hammer. And some fighters aren't too bad when they're the nail. And sometimes you've got to be the hammer and you've got to be the nail. You know what I'm saying? And you've got to be the ability. If you're going to be a good fighter, right, and win these kind of fights, these worn out war, uh, dragged out wars, you've got to have the ability to be the fucking nail on occasion. You know what I mean? You've got to have, you've got to, have the ability to go out there for a round and get your ass kicked and be leaking blood from every goddamn orifice, but still have the mental toughness to get back to your feet and shake it off and say, okay, that round's in the rear view mirror. Let's go again you know and and so, so that's what i need to see from mcgregor going forward he's awesome when he's the bully he's awesome when he's in control of the fight but when people can take the damage and then and then turn it around and put him under pressure you know that's when we see him kind of fold a little bit